All right, we are recording. So if you're here, say hello. I want to see your messages. Say hello. Let me know that you're here. And like I said, I'm going to be going back and forth between um, the live stream here and also the Zoom video. So let's see. Julie says it's not working. Okay, I think it's working now, Jules. I didn't have the, I didn't have the, um, the video on at first. I was just trying to make sure that everything technically was set up correctly. Um, so I see Lidica's here, Najada's here, Julie, Marlena, Joanne. Cool, so as you're popping on, say hello. We got like three more minutes before we get started. I am super, super respectful of your time, and I appreciate the fact that you are giving me your time to spend you know, this next, let's say, hour, maybe a little bit more um, with me. So thank you, thank you for that. Thank you for showing up. And like I mentioned before, make sure that you have something to write with or you have a doc on your computer. That might get a little um, distracting, um, but definitely take notes because we're going to take everything that I've been sharing with you over the last four days plus more. So I'm going to be sharing a lot of stuff with you. This is really amazing content. I want you to absorb it. I want you to take it in. I want you to apply it in your business. So make sure that you are taking notes. Alrighty. Um, let's see. Marlene is in the house. What is up, Marlene? Awesome. So no pets today, no children today. So it should be nice and quiet for us. Um, I see Lori's here as well. Awesome. Awesome. So glad that you guys are here. And, um, this is going to run I'm going to try to keep it at an hour and depending on if there's questions at the end, it might go a little bit over, but I really want to make sure that I get at least the content piece to you guys um, before we dive into the Q&A so that you guys can get everything that you need. Uh, Kitty is here as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. All right. So I think everything is working correctly. So you'll see me on the screen for a little bit and then I am going to switch over to the slides um, just because I think visually it's going to give you a representation of, of um, you know, what I'm trying to portray here. So I will be switching over to the slides, but I like for you guys to see my face uh, so you can see me. You can see me. You can hear me. Awesome. All right, so one more minute and we will get started. And what I'm going to be talking about again is really how to incorporate everything that we've done over the last few days and also a little bit extra. So I'm going to be talking about a seven step framework um, that includes some of the days and how you can start to um, really see the picture, um, the bigger picture of why this works, of why maybe it hasn't worked for you, and maybe if you've had some blocks or a plateau or anything like that, I'm going to show you why so that you can correct it and you can fix it. Uh, let's see. I have a three-year-old twin grandberry babies running around double duty. <laughs> well, trust me, I understand, right? And uh, the other thing I'm going to be talking about is the top three things that you should be working on in your business, your top three focuses. Um, I know that there's just so much that we see in our news feeds. We get bombarded with stuff every day. We don't know what to work on. We, we get unsure about, you know, how to proceed or what things we should be doing, what things we shouldn't be doing. So I'm going to really break it down with, to you and really let you know like, hey, these are the only three things that you need to be focusing on daily. And if you do that, you will be successful. If you do that, you can, you know, whip yourself out of that slump or get yourself over this plateau or get yourself to that next income level. So it is just 12 o'clock now. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and get started. I see a lot more people popping on. So um, as they pop on, hopefully they don't miss too much. But like I said, I am very respectful of your time and I thank you for being here with me. So um, I want to make sure that I keep this, you know, to the minimum amount of time so that then you can go about your day. Um, but you still have a lot going on here. So for those of you who don't know me, um, I think many of you do now because we've been kind of interacting over the last few days. But for those of you who don't know me, um, I'm Jen Scalia. I am a visibility strategist. And what I do is I help 
um, entrepreneurs really overcome their biggest fears and put themselves out there in a way that's authentic, that's real, that feels good, and also just creating a business that feels good and creating a business that comes from flow. So a little bit of background about me and how I got to the place that I am today. Um, I used to do the hustle thing. I was hustling like crazy all the time and I burnt myself out. And this is just a repetitive story, a cycle that I see happen with a lot of entrepreneurs. And I decided to do things differently and do my business differently. And that is what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. And also just the fact that, you know, it doesn't have to look one way. Your business can be exactly how you desire it to be, whatever you want it to look like. You don't have to do anything. Um, you can totally break the rules and do things your own way. That's what I did. Um, and I was able to go from making, you know, zero dollars my very, very first year, um, simply because I never asked for a sale, um, to making $35,000 in my very first profitable year of business to now, three years later, generating over $1.5 million in sales, which is probably closer to 200,000 at this point, um, but we haven't done our numbers yet for this year. So um, let's get to it. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the slides. If you guys have questions or if anything pops up, um, I would just ask that you leave it to the end or you can type it in there and then I'll get to it at the end. I just want to make sure I get through the content and get you guys exactly what you need. And then I will open it up for Q and A. I actually have about two and a half hours to spend with you guys. Uh, so let's see, lots of people are here on the live stream as well. Uh, so let's get to it. So let's go ahead and share the screen here for you guys and my pretty little slides. All right, can you see the slides? If you can see the slides, let me know. Um, just type in yes. Uh, yes, Nicole, this will be replaying. Um, I'll, I'll have it up for a couple of days. Um, all right. So let me just make sure. Yes, yes, yes. You guys can see it. Amazing. Awesome. Okay. All right. Well then let's get to it. So, um, welcome, welcome today. Again, thank you for being here. I know that you could be spending your time in so many different ways and you're choosing to spend it with me. So I thank you for that. Um, welcome to Captivate and Convert. That's three foundations to captivate your audience, create raving fans and make more sales. Who doesn't want that? We all want that. Alrighty. So, um, I just want to make sure that if you are here, that you're in the right place. I don't want to waste your time or anything like that. I want to make sure that um, you're in the right place and that you're going to get exactly what you need out of today. Just give me one quick second here, guys. I want to make sure that, let's see. All right. Okay. So it is not exactly doing it what I want to do right now, but we're all good. We're going to get started. So you are in the right place if you have reached a plateau in your business or experience a cycle of feast and famine. So this is something that it is so common. This is so common. I see people that may have a very good month and then the following month they're, they're toast. They don't have anything going on. Then they have to ramp back up and then they go through that cycle again. So if you've reached some type of plateau in your business, maybe that is just an income level that you can't seem to get past or you experience feast and famine, you're in the right place. You're in the right place if you don't know what steps to take when in your business and you want to know what you actually need to focus on for big results. Like here's the thing, there, there's a lot of steps, there's a lot of things that we have to do, but if we don't do them in the right order, we don't get very far. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys today exactly how you can make that happen. Alrighty. Um, if you want to increase your impact and create a tribe of people hungry to buy from you, which ultimately increases your bank account. And if you want to leverage more clients, more ease in your business so that you can experience more time freedom, more money freedom, and just plain old freedom to do whatever the heck you want. So um, if that, any of that sounds like you, then you are absolutely in the right place today. And I'm going to just give you um, an expectation for today. Like I mentioned, I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate that you are here. So I'm going to go for about 40 minutes 
give or take, depending on how quick I can get through this, of straight content, no fluff. Make sure you have your pen and paper ready. And I will also be sharing with you the next steps and how we can work together to take your business to the next level with the Captivate Experience. Awesome, I see a lot of you popping on here on the live stream as well, so thank you for that. All right, so here's what we're gonna cover. We are gonna cover um, the very first thing you need to do to make any marketing program or plan actually work. Some of you might have a hint on what that is, but that is the first thing that we're gonna be covering. Um, we're gonna talk about um, how to take what you've learned in the Captivate and Convert Challenge and create content and offer on offers that your audience will crave. Now, even if you didn't go through the challenge or if maybe you got a couple um, couple steps behind, it's a-okay. I'm gonna recap everything. So you don't need to take the challenge to take advantage of what is going on here. Just, do you guys still hear me? I just wanna make sure, cause my audio sounded a little weird for a second there. Um, so if you can't hear me, just let me know. Otherwise, I will keep on going. And then finally, I'm gonna talk about the three areas of your business that should get the most focus, energy, and attention. Okay. Good, you guys can still hear me. Amazing. All righty. So, you know, here's the thing, guys. Like, people ask me all the time, like, how did you do it, Jen? How did you do it? You're an introvert, you're a single mom. Um, you know, how did you do it? And here, there's a lot of different factors. There's a lot of different reasons and ways that um, I was able to create this. And like I said in the beginning of the presentation here, there is no one way to do it. I'm going to be sharing with you, you know, the way that I've created. Um, that actually works and the way that I've put, you know, almost uh, 120 women through the same exact process and it works for them as well. So that's what I want to share with you today. That's what I want you to walk away with. And I'm really going to set a foundation for you guys as well. So you'll see like, hey, maybe this is why it hasn't been working for me in the past. Maybe this is why, you know, I feel like I've been doing all the right things, but it's not actually happening for me. So let's get to it. Who am I? Very quickly, I'm going to share with you who am I. Don't want to spend a whole ton of time on this, um, but I also want you to know why you should listen to me. So number one, first and foremost, I am a single mom to my son, Dante. He is six years old. He's about to be seven, um, and he is amazing. Some of you saw him on the live stream uh, today, which is or last night, um, and he's my life. He's really the reason why I started the business. He's really the reason that kept me going, and he is the reason that I continue to grow and become a role model for him. I'm a visibility strategist. I've worked with thousands, yes, thousands of entrepreneurs to start and grow their online businesses. I have had you know multiple multiple courses worked with hundreds and thousands of people at a time um, at all stages of their business so I have a lot under my belt I understand what it takes to be successful I've also spoken alongside people like Gary Vaynerchuk Caleb Maddock Derek Halpern and more I'm actually also going to be speaking on some pretty big stages this year I went from making $35,000 a year, um, and I was making about $35,000 a year in my corporate job, and to making almost $2 million in sales. This is 1.5 million, this was, this was done a while ago, but almost $2 million in sales in three years. And this is coming from someone who is an introvert and used to think, oh, I don't like to sell or I'm horrible at selling. So um, that is what Captivate is all about. Captivate is all about really um, having your personality, your story, and who you are do the selling for you so you can stop chasing and you can just really start to attract the people that need you. Um, and just a fun fact, I play poker. I'm pretty darn good at it and I dabble a little bit in photography. So um, let's talk about some huge shifts. Um, the stuff that I'm going to be sharing with you. Huge shifts come from what I'm going to be sharing with you today. Um, I was able to increase my income by 1,400% in one year. One year. I went from making $35,000 my first profitable year in coaching to over $500,000 the next. So 
no matter where you are, it is absolutely possible if you feel stuck, if you're just starting, if you don't see the possibilities for you, I'm here to, to knock that out of you and tell you that it is absolutely possible and it can happen really fast as long as you are doing the right things and focusing on the right things, which is what I'm sharing with you today. Uh, my client, Erica, she had her best month in business in six months and she closed over $7,000 cash in a single week. Um, my client Lisa signed five new one-on-one -on -one coaching clients in a eight week period. Um, and Aditi had two 10 K launches in her first five figure months also in an eight week period. So, um, this stuff is good. Erica, I know is here with me today. I believe Lisa is here as well. Um, guys, this stuff works. So make sure that you have that pen and paper, <laughs> make sure that you are ready to take notes and dive right in. So here's the good news. I have amazing, amazing news for you. The amazing news is that you likely already have a lot of these pieces. They're just in the wrong order, right? Or you may just be focusing on the wrong thing. So that's kind of where I want to dive in today and really help you um, focus because um, it really doesn't take a whole lot, right? I mean, there's a difference between, you know, dedication and ambition and doing what needs to be done and like working yourself into the ground and hustling and not getting anywhere. So I'm going to help you with the beginning part, with the first part of that, which is let's focus on the right things to do and we can you know, make lots of progress, lots more progress than the people that are out there doing all kinds of stuff. Trust me on this. All right. So if you stay with me till the end, I'm going to have a free downloadable cheat sheet on the exact things that I did to go from zero to $1.5 million in sales in three years. So I want you guys to stick around. Um, and hint, they are probably not what you think. Um, so I'm excited to share that with you. So make sure that you stick around to the end for that. All right. So let's dive in the first shift you have to make. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think is the very first shift, the very first thing that you have to do in order to reach your goals and be successful? Um, put it in the chat box, put it in your um, comments here on the Facebook live stream. What do you guys think it is? What do you think I'm going to, going to say? Um, okay. Someone, I don't have the name. Someone says, um, believing in your ability to be success successful, shift in my mindset, decide on one thing, mindset, believe in your ability to serve mindset. It's Virginia. Awesome. Um, get out of my own way. Yes. Um, time management says Carmen. Brandy says mindset. Lidica says mindset, belief. Lynn says, grow my audience. Lisa, be specific about your goals. Well, you guys are all right, right? Um, but the very first thing a lot of you did um, touch on or hit right on the head, and that is mindset. And mindset does encompass a lot of different things. You know, mindset encompasses your confidence. It encompasses your belief. It encompasses, you know, um, your belief that you can actually do it, but also your belief that you are worth it and that you can go out there and charge the things that you want to charge. You know, yes, building your audience. We're going to talk about that. That's what Captivate is all about, but we've got to get the mindset thing right, guys. Like, um, I can't tell you, you know, for me, um, I, I approached this business, I started this business, and I, I knew it all. Trust me. I mean, I thought I knew it all, right? I had come from a background in marketing. I had been doing marketing and social media my entire life. I was getting paid to do it. I was working for huge companies doing their marketing and social media. I was working for, you know, one of the largest entertainment companies. I was working for um, the biggest casino in Atlantic City doing all of their social media. So when I started this online business, I thought I knew it all. And, you know, um, guess what? <laughs> I did it. That's why I struggled in the beginning. And, and the thing that I was missing was mindset. And, you know, unfortunately back then I didn't really understand the concept. Um, I had a lot of money blocks. I had a lot of things in my way when it came to money and asking for money and wealth and charging for my services. And really that kept me stuck for a very, very long time, which is why I'm so passionate about sharing a lot of my mindset practices with you. And it's also why mindset is a foundational piece in 
the course Captivate because I feel like I can give you all the marketing tools. I can give you the step-by-step -step processes. I can give you all the strategies, but if you don't have what's here, if what's here inside your head is not right and it's, it's you know, diluted, you're not going to get very far. You're not going to get to where you want to be. You may be able to make little tiny shifts, but you're not going to make those huge shifts that you want to make. Um, so for me, it was a good thing, right? Because um, I knew that I had all the other pieces, right? Um, I was just missing this one piece of the puzzle. So when people ask me, Jen, how did you do this so fast? How did you go um, from, you know, create, you know, from doing nothing and zero um, to creating this empire? And my thing is mindset. It absolutely is mindset and once mindset. Um, so that is why I am stressing this to you guys right now. If for whatever reason you feel like I'm doing all the right things, I don't know what's going on. Why isn't this working for me? I'm following the steps that so-and-so told me to do. I've been working my butt off. Mindset is key. I want you to dig deep and find out what's going on for you so that you can fix it and start to really create the life and the business that you desire. So Lynn says, my mindset has shifted so much lately. And I'm sure that that has been reflected, Lynn, in you know everything else that you're doing as well. So that is awesome. Alrighty, so um, you know the reason why I talk about this first and the reason why I have to mention it and stress on it is because without it, you have nothing. So please just remember that, guys. If you're feeling stuck or if you're feeling like, I don't know what to do. Mindset first, right? Um, I have clients and people who have taken the Captivate program who just focused on this one part, who just focused on the mindset piece and have created massive, massive shifts without doing anything differently in their marketing, without doing anything differently in their business. So that why, that's why it is so important. Okay. All right, moving right along, guys. So now I want to share with you the seven-step process to captivate your audience and make more sales. Now, I've actually already shared with you four of those seven steps. So if you um, took the time to take the mini course and do that, then you will know some of this. But I am also going to um, reshare with you um, the seven steps so that you can see how they all play together. They all um, work together and how if you just follow this process, you're going to be able to create exactly what you desire. And you know, someone mentioned it earlier, but here's the deal. Um, there's lots of programs out there and there's lots of coaches out there that are like, hey, just create a product, um, throw it on a webinar and you can book high-end clients. You know what? You can. You absolutely can if you have huge capital and tons of money and thousands of dollars to dump into Facebook ads. But the reality is if you have a product or a course, but you don't have anybody to buy it, then you're kind of up the creek without, the pa without a paddle, right? And that's why I really stress on you know, this audience building and this relationship building first, because not only will it help you make more sales, but it's also going to help you create repeat buyers. Um, I can't even tell you how many people um, have bought more than one of my products. Lots of people have bought three, four, and five of my products. Um, and it's because of things I'm about to share with you in this seven step process. So take notes, make sure that you are writing this stuff down, okay? Because what I noticed is that lots of entrepreneurs are floundering and they're not floundering because they're not good. They're not floundering because they suck or they don't have the right products or they don't have the right mission. It's because they just don't know what to do when. And that's where the seven step process comes in. All right, so um, the first four we talked about, right? The big picture process, really understanding um, your audience, really understanding yourself, really understanding what you want from your business. Um, we have to have this vision because it is really hard to be an entrepreneur. It is not an easy thing or else everyone would be doing it and everyone be, would be successful. So when you are, um, you know, defining 
this big picture and this big vision for yourself, it's important to keep that in mind because those days when you feel like crap and you feel like giving up and you are doubting yourself, the bigger vision that you have for yourself and your business is what's going to keep you going. So that's why this is so important. The next step is to position yourself in the marketplace for profit, essentially. So knowing who you are, what you stand for, who you serve, right? And choosing that one thing. We've talked about that. Um, it's so easy for us as multi-passionate humans to want to do everything, to want to help everyone. But I'm telling you, um, the thing that's really going to take you to that next level is positioning yourself for profit, making sure that you have a product that people actually want to buy, making sure that your ideal clients actually can afford you, making sure that you are the specialist and the expert at what you do and that you are the only choice for the people who need you. The third thing we talked about was social influence, how to share your story, how to bring your character into your marketing, how to um, share your values and really start to just create this movement online. And, and the reason why I say social and, you know, I will talk about paid advertising a little bit later and in the course a little bit. But to be honest, guys, I didn't have a ton of money when I first started. Um, I didn't have $2,500 to pay an ads person plus another $5,000 a month to put into ads. I had to utilize what was in front of me. What was in front of me was social media. And uh, we have the power to create influence and to create a tribe of people who absolutely love us with these free sources, um, social media. So I, you know, when I say social media, I'm not going to say you have to, you know, um, do any one specific, like it can only be Instagram or it can only be LinkedIn or it can only be Facebook. Um, it's really going to be the platform that you feel most comfortable in and that you can share your story with. Um, next is a strategic content. Now, here is something that I see lots of people get mixed up on. So now is where I'm going into how to take what you did in day one, two, three, and four and create something that your people actually want. Here's the deal. Lots of people create content. Lots of people create live streams, do videos, all that other stuff, but lots of them do it very wrong. They create content with no purpose. They create content with no strategy so that it doesn't actually lead to someone wanting to buy from them. It doesn't actually lead to their paid course. So when you're creating content, what you want to do is really make sure that it has a strategy to it. Um, that, you know, when you're creating an opt-in that it's leading to where you want people to go. When you do a live stream, you're not just getting on live stream just to, you know, for, um, for fun, right? But you actually have a strategy behind it that you're leading people somewhere, that you have a call to action. Um, so this part is important. The strategic part of this is important because anybody can, re can create content, um, but putting it together in a way that makes your people hungry to buy from you, that's the ticket. All right, next is audience amplification. And this is why I love this. Again, when I first started, I was nobody. When I first started, my list was zero. Um, I had to figure out ways to leverage, um, you know, other people's audiences and leverage, you know, people that were already out there that just didn't know who I was. And that is where audience amplification comes in. So if you're feeling like, Jen, this all sounds amazing, but I don't have a list. I don't have an audience. I am starting from scratch. I'm starting from zero. It is fine. That's what I'm sharing with you guys today. Um, and in the Captivate course is how to actually create that audience, how to actually create that tribe of people who want to buy from you. So um, audience amplification really has to do with creating experiences for your audience. So these can be uh, challenges, boot camps, um, things like that, similar to the mini course that I just created. Um, it also has to do with, you know, getting interviewed, right? Getting interviewed on podcasts, guest posts, leveraging somebody else's audience. So if you have an audience of zero um, and you could partner up with somebody that has an audience of 2,000 on, you know, some kind of JV partnership, now you have 2,000 eyeballs on your business. If you can get an article published on a, a site that has hundreds of thousands of viewers every day, now you have visibility, instant visibility. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Instant visibility, even though you don't have your own audience. So that is what the audience amplification is about. So no, you don't need an audience first. You get your audience and then you create something that they actually want. 
And that leads us right into launching your magnetic offer, really understanding what your people want, really understanding like, you know, I, I'm going to dive into a little bit of a story about want versus need. Um, people tend to create offers that their people may need, but they don't necessarily want. And unfortunately, most people are willing to, to pay for what they want and they're willing to make a lot of excuses for what they need. Um, and that's just a fact. That's just human nature. So when you're creating an offer, whether it's a free offer, a paid offer, you really want to make sure that you're tapping into number one, their emotions, and you're also tapping into what they desire. What do they actually want? Not necessarily what they need, because if you're selling them what they need, chances are they're not going to buy it. Now, the caveat to that is that once they're in your program, you are going to give them what you need what they need with the tools that you have, right? So um, I'll give a perfect example. I have a lot of health coaches. I work with a lot of health coaches. They are meaning very, very well. Um, they want their clients to feel healthy. They want their clients to have energy. They want their clients to feel good about their food choices, right? But if, I, if that person went out there and created a, a sales page that was like, hey, feel you know, healthier, um, feel, you know, better about your food choices. Yes. Somebody on some level might want that, but what do they really want? Do they want to, um, feel sexier for their husband? Do they want to, um, look better in their jeans? Do they want to lose weight? So think about the want first. Um, and that's what you want to lead with. You want to lead with the want. So what does your audience actually want? That is where you create your magnetic offer from. And then within your content, within your program, you're giving them what they actually need. Um, which may be like a meal plan or um, an exercise routine and all that stuff. But if you go out there and just say, hey, I'm going to give you a meal plan and exercise, exercise routine, that's not really magnetic, right? People are like, no, I don't really want that. I want to lose weight. <laughs> so give them what you or what they want. And then finally, um, step number seven is the raving fans formula. Now, this is it guys. This is what makes people want to come back for more. This is what makes people want to continue to buy from you. This is what makes people want to, um, share your services with them. This is what makes people want to JV and partner with you. I can't tell you how many of my own clients, you know, I've ended up, you know, partnering with or helping out in some way. Also, um, getting testimonials, getting people case studies. Um, just in the last round of Captivate, we had over 50 testimonials. That is pretty damn amazing, right, for an eight-week course. So how do you do that? You need to create an experience that your people want, right? You need to create an experience for them that they just want to rave about, number one. They get results. They love you. Um, and I talk about how to actually create that in the course Captivate, but this is the key to having that sustainable business. This is the key to not just being a one-hit wonder or, you know, um, somebody who comes and goes, right? We see a lot of that. We see a lot of people who come and go and, um, you know, really to build sustainability and credibility in your business. It's going to be by performing at your best and really giving people what they desire and what they deserve and what they need. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I do that. Um, but like I mentioned earlier, yeah, I have clients um, that have bought multiple, multiple things from me and they will continue to buy things from me because I give them that experience and because they want more. All right. So let's dive into the three things that you need to be working on or you need to be focusing on in order to really make progress in your business. So I hope you guys are taking notes. Just give me a little emoji or a thumbs up or something to let me know that you guys are still here. I feel like we're making pretty good time. Um, let's see. Uh, Laurie says confidence comes from getting out there. Yes. Confidence comes from action. Absolutely. So we're going to be talking about that, but give me a little thumbs up there guys. If you are still with me. All right, cool. Brandy says, yes, Keisha's here. Eva let's here. And is here. Awesome. I'm going to keep going so that I can, um, stay right on track for time today. So the first thing that you really need to be focusing on is clarity. Now clarity, um, for a lot of people, they think this is not a tangible thing or this is not a measurable thing. I can tell you with certainty that clarity is the thing 
that you need to be focusing on because without clarity, with confusion, with not really knowing the next steps to take, everything else in your business is going to be hard. Mark my words, your marketing is going to be hard. Sitting down to write a blog post is going to be hard. Creating copy is going to be hard. Getting on a live stream is going to be hard because you're not sure and you're not confident. So you absolutely need clarity. It is absolutely something that is tangible because it really creates a foundation for your business that you can't get with anything else. Without clarity, um, you're not going to be able to get very far. You're going to be going back and forth. You're going to stay on the hamster wheel and you're going to continue to do this feast and famine thing. So I want you to get clarity on your strengths. Super important. We talked about this in, um, I believe it was day two of the mini course. Get uh, clear on your purpose, right? That's your big picture. Why are you doing this? Why are you here? Who are you serving? Um, get clear on what you do how you do it and who you do it for. Get clear on defining your own success. This is really important. We didn't talk about this in the mini course, but so, so important. Maybe your vision of success isn't a million dollars. Maybe your vision of success isn't even six figures. Maybe you just want to make a couple thousand dollars extra a month and be able to spend more time with your kids. Maybe you wanna be able to quit your job. Maybe you want to make $10 million, um, but it's totally up to you. And there is no one definition or, you know, one way to success. So define success on your terms is super important because once you're able to do that, you're able to really um, decide like, how do I want to run this business? What do I want to include? What do I want to do? What do I want my days to look like? All of that stuff that's going to be super important to make sure that this is a long lasting and sustainable business. And you know, I, I say that because I'll, there's a lot of get rich quick things out there, a lot of magic bullets out there. Um, but really what I want for you guys to know is that there needs to be sustainability and, uh, you know, really just solid, solid foundations in your business. Finally, also how to get clarity on your profit system, right? How are you actually going to make money? <laughs> what are you going to sell? How are you going to sell it? What are you going to charge? You need clarity on all of these things, but um, definitely you need to focus on clarity first. And even if you've been in business and you feel like I'm super clear, this again is just something that is, it's ongoing. You will always, always want to focus on clarity in your business and making sure that you know um, exactly what you're doing, where you're at, and where you want to go. Moving on. So here, here's the deal, guys. <laughs> I actually think that most of you are leaving money on the table. Most of you are leaving money on the table right now. So I want to give you an action step. I want to give you an action step. And when you do this, I want you to go back into the group and let us know that you've done this. So here's how to get some clients this week. Write this down. Write it down. Um, what I want you to do is send the 20 word email to your low hanging fruit. Low hanging fruit being anybody that you've talked to in the past. They could be friends. They could be family. They could be past clients. They could be people that you've worked with. They could be people that maybe you've had a conversation or a discovery call with that didn't sign up with you. And here's what I want your email to say. It's going to say, Hey name, we're going to say Jill. Um, hey Jill, I was just thinking about you. Are you still struggling with X? X is your thing that you help people with. So this is what I want you to do this week. Get clients by sending out this 20 word email to anybody that you can think of. Hey Jill, I was just thinking about you. Are you still struggling with X? This is going to leave, um, this is going to open up the door for people to want to work with you. All right, so moving right along, going to key number two. The key thing that you need to focus on next is your exposure. So how are people actually going to know about you? How are people going to know that they can buy from you? How are people going to know that you exist? It's by getting the exposure. It's by getting out there. It's by being visible. And here's the thing, guys. I understand because I'm an introvert. Um, so when I first started this business and I kind of looked and I was like, holy crap, I actually have to um, have my photo on the banner on my website. Oh my God, this is so scary. I can't believe this. I'm so used to being the behind the scenes person, but you've got to get that exposure because you could be the best in the world that you do. You could create the most magnificent course or product, but if people don't know about you, they can't buy from you. Period. End. I don't care what anybody else says. Um, this is the key. You've got to get out there. You've got to get people to know about your business. So I'm going to talk today about some, um, 
you know, organic ways that you can do it, um, which are the same ways that we dive into and captivate. Um, and of course there's paid advertising. So if you've got, you know, a fat wallet and you're able to put a lot of money into a Facebook ad for sure, do it. It works. I do it now that my business has grown, but, um, you can get exposure and you can get really visible with just the tools that you have today. So number one is social influence. I talked about this a little bit. Essentially though, this is really just, you know, owning who you are and showing up every freaking day on your social media channels to the people that need you show up, share your truth, be visible daily, create social influence by sharing your story, by sharing who you are, by sharing your values, by being, um, you know, proactive in what you believe in. Next is a social media challenge or a mini course similar to what you're doing. This is one of my favorite, favorite ways to get exposure. So a lot of people are like, Jen, I don't, you know, I don't have a list. I don't have an audience. How, I can't do a challenge. Well, guess what? The challenge is how you grow your list. The challenge is how you get people to know about your business. So it may be a slow start. It may be, you know, just a few people on, the, on your very first one. But as you start to do it, as you start to gain more um, exposure and visibility online, it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's exactly what I did. I had a hundred people in my first challenge. Um, now I have thousands of people in my challenges and in my mini courses. So um, this is absolutely my favorite way. You've seen the front end part of the, of the challenge and how that works. Um, but you know, what I really talk about in Captivate is how to actually do all of this so that you can be profitable, you can be sustainable, and you can reach the people you need to reach. Now, I had a client um, in the Captivate program who I walked step by step how to create a social media challenge. And guess what? She was able to add 200 people to her list. Um, and she was also able to grow her Facebook group by 600 people. And this is just in a few weeks that we worked together, um, focusing on just this one thing, right? Um, the next is audience amplification. So I talked about this, leveraging other people's audiences, whether it's guest blogging, getting on an interview, getting on a summit, um, getting, you know, on a podcast, um, JDing with someone, you know, doing a joint venture partnership with someone. Um, and again, these are all things that I dive deeper into in Captivate, but this is stuff that you guys can do today. You can literally do this stuff today. Um, and then finally, exposure with strategic content. Content for me has been the thing that has really put me on the map. It has really gained, given people an awareness of my brand because of the amazing and strategic content that I create. So if you don't hear anything from me today, um, I want you to hear this. Don't create content just to create content. Create kick-ass, strategic, badass content and you will be noticed. People will want to work with you. People will look at you as an authority and as an expert. So make sure that when you're creating content, you are giving your best and you're putting it out there. One of the examples of someone that, you know, I truly admire and, you know, it's not um, somebody that I really resonate with as much anymore. But when I first started, I ran across Marie Forleo. I'm sure many of you know who she is. And I just binged on her free videos. And I was so enamored by her. I was so appreciative of her and, you know, the fact that she was able to just give me free content and free value that the moment her program opened, I bought it like that because I knew that the free content that she was giving was stellar. And I just knew that by buying her paid course, I was going to get even more. Um, so create content that is kick-ass. Don't create content just for content's sake. Um, because you'll get burnt out. Your audience will start to not trust you. Make sure that you're putting it out there in a strategic and authentic way. All right, so the final key is monetization. Um, and actually, hold on, I jumped ahead a little bit, so I wanna talk about how you can get exposure today. Um, very simple, do a live stream or written content that is shareable, valuable, and transformational. Again, make sure that it's good stuff and people will share it, people will comment on it, people will like it. I am notorious for having um, you know, multiple hundreds of likes on all of my posts, um, just comments after comments, shares, because I don't just put something out to put it out. I make sure that it's shareable, I make sure that it's valuable, and I make sure it's transformational. So if you're struggling with visibility or exposure, I want you to do this today. Do a live stream, impromptu, uh, written post, something that you can share with your audience today to get that exposure. 
All right, now we're moving on to key number three, which is monetization, okay? So we've got the mindset in place. We are super freaking clear on what's going on. And now we need to monetize it because we're in business. We need to make money, right? <laughs> um, we're not here for charity. There's lots of things that we can do for charity and for contribution and things like that. But if you want to keep your business afloat, you've got to figure out how to monetize all of these things that you have. You have to figure out how to monetize your gifts, your strengths, um, your products, all of that stuff. You have to figure out how to you know, get those people who are now in your tribe, who are falling in love with you, they love everything you do, what are you gonna offer them, okay? So with monetization, the things you wanna focus on are making an impact, right? Making an impact, and this is what I mean by creating something that's valuable and transformative. If you are putting out content and creating things that are valuable and transformative, you're making an impact on somebody's life, whether they're saying it or not. Um, I want you to always remember that someone is always watching. Someone is watching, they are taking notes, they know that um, you can change their lives, even if they're not speaking up. I have people that um, will come to me like two years later and say, I've been on your list for two years. I've been following you for two years and finally took the leap. I finally decided to work with you in this program. Um, so make sure that you're always performing your best and you are creating things that are impactful, valuable, and transformational for your audience. Um, launch your product or service. Get it out there. Um, many people just sit on it. We have this idea or we want to create a product. We want to make sure it's perfect. We don't actually ever put it out there. You've got to put it out there. Your first version does not have to be perfect. Um, it is your version 1.0. Right, but you've got to get it out there. Um, you know, eliminate the doubts, eliminate the fear, get rid of the ego, and put that product or service out there. Put it out there um, for your people to to purchase. And and here's another thing I like to do is create multiple offers. Um, so first, you know, if you're in the stuck stage, um, make sure that you just do one. But I like to have multiple because different strokes for different strokes, different strokes for different folks. I have people on my list that are brand brand new, just having a, um, you know, just starting. Um, and I have people who are, you know, making six figures already and want to go to the next level. So I have people at all levels, which is why I create content and products and offers at all levels. And then the other way to monetize is actually something like really, really simple, right? It is create raving fans, let them do the work for you, your testimonials, your case studies, your referrals. Um, your clients raving about you, right? I have several of my past clients and my current clients and past students of Captivate on this live stream today. So, um, you know, they're here to support me. They're raving fans. They, you know, have taken what I've shared with them and have really um, utilized it. And that's how you create those raving fans. And that's how you stop the chase, essentially. So if you feel like I'm always chasing people, I'm chasing clients, I'm, you know, doing all this stuff and, and nobody's buying anything, um, you know, let other people do it for you. That's the best way. Cause we can talk all day about how amazing we are, but when other people talk about how amazing we are, yes, that is the ticket guys. That is the ticket, right? So, um, here's what I want to do. I want to do a quick recap, right? And I want you to think about those three steps. So just to recap, we talked about the first thing you need to do to focus on making any of this work. Mindset, 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 mindset. Why it's a crucial piece and a foundational element of the course Captivate. We talked about the seven step process to captivate your audience and make more sales. And we also talked about the three things you need to focus on. Clarity, exposure and monetization. So for those of you that are still with me, I want you to comment either on the live stream or comment on the Zoom webinar here. Um, out of those three things, the clarity, exposure, and monetization, which one do you feel like you need help with most? Which one do you feel like is missing in your business and that you need to focus on when you leave here today? Um, clarity, exposure, or monetization? Let me know which one that is. Viviana says exposure, um, exposure, clarity, monetization, exposure. Keep them coming, guys. Um, Brandy says exposure. So now can you kind of see how 
Like if you're missing one of these things, why it hasn't exactly been happening for you the way that you want. Karen says clarity. Kitty says exposure, monetization, monetization. Kitty says exposure and monetization. Sounds like all three there, right? Um, all right. So uh, let's see. Um, we are going to now dive into, um, you know, why you showed up here today, right? So you guys take, took the course with me today and I want to know why you showed up here. Did you show up here to really figure out how to now take what you've learned and put it together? Did you, did you show up here because you want more? Did you show up here because you need clarity? I want you to just think about why you showed up here today and why you're spending this time with me right now. And while you're thinking about that, I want to tell you a little bit, a little story. Um, so um, let's see. Now it is 2017. So four years ago, four years ago, I was working for a casino and I was doing all their social media marketing and I loved my job. So I, I'm not one of those people who like hates their job and wants to quit. I actually loved my job. I had an amazing job. I was, you know, um, doing social media for nightclubs and restaurants and, you know, all kinds of shows. I was meeting celebrities. It was amazing. It was amazing. And I was making the most money I ever made. I was making $38,000 a year. I, I thought I had the life. I had the life. And I came into work one day. It was New Year's Day. I was pumped. I was just there a couple days before. Um, for a show that we had. And I found out that the casinos were doing a massive layoff. Casinos do this all the time. They lay off like between 30 to 50 and even hundreds of people at a time when their revenues go down. And I was a victim of a layoff and I had to figure out what the hell I was going to do. And that's why I started this business. I started this business and here's the deal. I just wanted to make enough money to pay off my debts and to live a comfortable life. I wanted to make $5,000 a month. That was my goal. That was about $60,000 a year. Um, I was making 40. So I thought that was pretty good to like make 60 in my business. And, you know, just knowing that, you know, people in my normal life, $40,000 a year was good to me. Um, you know, that's how cloudy my judgment was at one point. Um, and I really was just like, you know, I just want to, to make $5,000. That's it. And I ended up, you know, making about that my first year. And then like I told you guys, I, um, I made 35,000 the first year. The second year is when I really broke through and I made over $500,000 following year, even more this year, even more. And so it's just really amazing how fast these things can happen. And I really, really want to share with you guys how you can take everything that I've shared with you over the last week. And just, you know, if you've been following me, me um, even more, right? So what you've seen and what I've shared with you today, because I am again, respectful of your time and I, you know, I can only cover so much here. What you've seen is the tip of the iceberg. Right. And that's what we see a lot when we are on social media and we're in Facebook groups. Um, we're getting all this stuff. Yeah. We're trying to piece it all together. We're trying to figure out, you know, what goes where. Um, but we're only seeing that little piece and there's so much more that goes with it that goes to being successful. Right. Um, like my client, Teresa, who got several clients in her first few weeks by implementing what she learned in Captivate. Angel, who got her first client and who is continuing to get new clients. Sharice, who is a stylist. So I want you guys to know that this doesn't have to just be B2B. You don't have to be somebody who is just teaching business coaching in order to make money. Uh, Sharice is a stylist. She had her best month ever. She made $7,000 in one week. Um, so this can really work for anybody if you apply it. All right, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to close your eyes. And I'm gonna give you a couple seconds. And I really want you to think about what you desire. I want you to think about what you desire in your business, for your life. I want you to think about what it would feel like to reach your goals, to be making what you desire. And here's, here's a little thing I wanna walk you guys through again. Hopefully your eyes are still closed. I want you to think about um, the money that you made last year. I want you to think about how much money you made in your business last year. If you're just starting this year, how much have you made so far this year? Now, I want you to think about what it would feel like to double, triple, or 10X that over the next year. How would that feel? <laughs> now, 
here's something that I never really thought about and it just kind of happened for me, but I now know the importance of visioning and knowing like exactly what we desire. So you can open your eyes now. Um, and I want you to share with us, what are some of the feelings that came up? How would you feel if you were able to take the income that you made last year, whether it's in your job or in your business and double, triple or 10 X it? What the heck would that feel like? I want to hear your answers here. Brandy says I showed up because I was, sh I'm showing up more for me and to complete what I started. Love it. We need to always do that, right? So how would it feel to actually do what you desire and create those goals? I'm waiting for you guys. Do you guys still have your eyes closed? <laughs> um, Chidinma, I hope I said your name right. She says, I'd feel ecstatic. I love that word. Kitty says, I would be able to help more people with having more money to back the business. Marlene says, I would feel accomplished. I feel like I'd actually followed through. And here's the thing, guys. It's not always about money. But the money does allow us to do what we want to do. And the money does allow us to have the freedom that we want to have. And so if you are, you know, having these feelings now, here's the thing, you can feel it and it can happen really, really fast. I showed you examples of how I went from like literally nothing to having amazing, amazing success in my business and being able to do the same for my clients. Jennifer says, I'm showing up. That's why I'm here. I would feel amazing to be successful and independent. Love that word independent. Um, Keisha says, I'd feel free living on my own terms, being able to live life. Amazing. Eva Lent says, amazing and aligned, a blessing to help others and know that I'm living in my true purpose. I love that. And I'm all about that. I'm all about the ease. I'm all about the flow. I'm all about the alignment and doing what the heck you were put on this earth to do, right? All right. So now you guys know, you know the steps to take to captivate your audience and make more sales. So you're probably wondering, okay, Jen, but how exactly do I apply this to my unique business? And I really believe that everyone does have a unique business and there is no cookie cutter approach. So you have a choice, right? You have a choice. You can, you can take everything that I've taught you over the last week and I've taught you a lot and I've given you a lot and you can take it and you can run with it. Um, and you know, it might work really fast and it might take a little bit longer. Um, you can try to figure this out yourself and you can do it the slow way. Like my, my peaks over here in this picture with this kind of crazy bike. Um, that's kind of awesome. I'm going to see if I can find one of those. Um, or you can do it with the fast way, right? You can hop in that car and you can take that easy route. One of my, um, mentors that I absolutely love, Jesse Elder, um, gives me, um, or actually gave me an example. And I love to use this example. It's like, um, you know, if you've ever been to Disney world, um, you know how they have like huge lines in Disney, right? You're spending like half your day, like in a line, but then they give you this option for a fast pass, um, that allows you to go in the front of the line. It allows you to cut the line and just say, you know what, here's where I want to be. Um, here it is. And kind of teleports you to the front of the line, right? You pay a little bit of extra money, right? But you get there faster. Um, so I love that example. So which one do you want to be? Do you want to take the slow route? I can do this myself. I can figure it out. Or do you want to take the fast route? Right? So this is exactly why I created the captivate experience. It shows you the exact steps to create your tribe, um, your content, your offers so that your ideal clients can't get enough of you and they want to keep buying. You'll have a clear course of action to eliminate feast and famine and create sustainability and profitability in your business whenever you want. And here's the deal. And for those of you that are on this now that have taken Captivate, um, I want you to share your experiences as well, but all of the lessons can be reused. This is stuff that is going to be a staple in your business that if you're ever feeling like, oh, I'm down in the feast, feast part, you know, or I'm down in the famine part, I need clients, how do I get clients? Good, you're gonna go to module three and you're gonna take the hidden money method and you're gonna go make some money, period, right? So, um, you know, I've had, and I mentioned that I've had over 120 students go through this. They have started creating things like 10 K months insane clarity, which is absolutely tangible. 
tribes of ideal clients on their list and in their groups, recognition, speaking opportunities, all using the same exact system I shared with you today, that seven step system that also includes mindset. And you can too, no matter who you are, no matter where you are, you can too. So I just want to know, is it cool if I share exactly what's inside the Captivate experience and specifically how it can help you? Just let me know in the comments if it's cool. Just comment yes or give me an emoji. I want to make sure that you guys are still with me. So is it cool if I share with you what's inside Captivate and what you'll get um, if you decide to take that next level? Um, Angela says, I feel grateful. Najeda says, it's powerful, ladies. I got major clarity and made money. Jen is the real deal. Uh, Marlena says, absolutely. Marlena gave me the thumbs up. She said, yes, share away. Um, Chidinma says, resounding yes. Awesome, guys. So um, let's just keep it going then. Kitty says, absolutely. All right, so here's the deal. Captivate, it will take you from lost, stuck, and confused about how to move forward in your business to having the exact steps to create a tribe of raving fans hungry to buy anything you put out there. Now, how would that feel? No more chasing, no more chasing, no more feeling like I have to beg people to work with me or I have to you know, put myself out there in ways that feel icky. No um, cold calling, no weird personal outreach stuff. Like This is really about creating and captivating your audience so that people want you, they find you, they come to you and they say, how can I work with you? They send you a message on Facebook like, your post was amazing. How do I work with you? How do I get more of that? No more chasing. That's our motto in Captivate. Um, and you know, I, I use another example from one of my very best mentors, Jesse Elder. He talks about a um, tugboat and a lighthouse. So a tugboat and a lighthouse do the same thing. They help boats to shore, right? Um, but if you think about a tugboat, a tugboat actually has to go out into sea and strap the boat up and they have to pull it, right? The tugboat has to pull the boat to shore. Whereas a lighthouse, it does the same thing. It helps lost boats to sea or to land. And what does a light the lighthouse do? The lighthouse just literally stands there and shines and the boats come to them. And so I want you all to be a lighthouse. Um, no more tugboats, no more chasing. We don't want that. We don't stand for that. This is about really creating this just amazing clarity and confidence about yourself and creating things that people want. So they want you, they find you, you're attracting them in a way that just feels amazing. All right. So captivate, right? Even if, even if you feel stuck and you don't know what the next steps are, even if you don't have enough, a ton of time because focus, we focus and captivate. Even if you don't have a big list, because I tell you exactly how to do it. Um, and even if you feel like I've tried it all before, I've done this, I've taken courses, I've taken programs, I haven't gotten anywhere. This is the program for you because I've had people in this program who have had businesses for years and have gotten to a certain point and they just got stuck and they have plateaued and they don't know how to keep going and they've been able to break through. And the reason why is because Captivate will help you get clear literally on every aspect of your business and what you actually need to do to move forward. It will teach you how to leverage other people's audiences, even if you're just starting out and don't have your own audience yet. And it will show you how to create content offers and launches that feel good, but also create raving fans to buy whatever you put out. And you know, one of the things I didn't put here is, um, I mentioned it earlier, but I didn't put it in the, in the notes here is, Captivate is one of the only programs that I know out there, one of the only business programs that not only gives you, you know, step-by-step -step business building um, strategies, but also gives you the mindset and the belief needed to actually make those things work. So it's a combination of both mindset and the actual strategy. So lots of people will teach just mindset and they have no idea about business strategies, and there's lots of people that will teach just business strategies, but don't understand why their clients aren't getting results, and it's because they're, they don't have the right mindset. So this course completes both. It has both in it. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to jenscalia.com forward slash 
Captivate. I want you to go there now if you are at your computer. And I um, will switch over in just a bit, but I do want to continue here um, so that we can wrap it up. But I want you to go here to jenscalia.com forward slash captivate. Take a look at that pretty page. Um, just leave it up on your computer. You can take a look at it later or you can take a look at it now, um, whichever you desire. And I want to just recap what happens when you captivate. So what happens is you'll be in love with your business. And I think that's super important. We need to love our business. We need to operate our business with integrity. We need to operate our business without resent, um, without burnout, without feeling like crap. So you'll be in love with your business. Other people will fall in love with your business and beg to buy from you. You will never have to worry about where your next paycheck is coming from because you're going to have a repeatable, sustainable system in your business to get clients, to create raving fans, to have a true tribe and to have repeat customers. Captivate is a shortcut to your business growth. It allows you to have more time, more freedom, and more money. Who doesn't want that? So I'm gonna go over very quickly what's included and you're gonna to wanna to stick around for a couple more things because I have some really amazing stuff to share with you. Plus I also have that um, PDF that I want you guys to download with the exact steps on how I went from zero to 1.5 million in sales just for showing up here today. So what's included are eight mind blowing lessons that will give you a customized six figure approach to your business from the inside out. Eight live, no questions left unanswered Q and A calls for clarification and on the spot coaching. So I'm notorious for this. The people who took this course know um, you're not just, I'm not going to cut off the call because time is up you're gonna make sure you're gonna get all of your questions answered. So we've stayed on the phone before for over two hours. Um, so you will get that, you get my support. You get a six figure mindset and marketing strategy that actually works. You also get a private Facebook community to keep you accountable and focused. And here's where the experience comes in. So you probably heard me say captivate experience. And that's because we have weekly dares to focus consistency and implementation. So I'm not just giving you content and throwing you to the wolves and hoping that you get it done. I'm actually there supporting you and giving you all the tools you need to, to finish it and to be successful. So I also have a guarantee. You can test out this system for four weeks. That's 30 days. If you don't like it and you don't see results, you can ask for a, re you can ask for a refund. Um, all I wanna see is that you've actually applied it and that you've done the work. And if you've applied it and done the work and you haven't seen results, then you can ask for a refund. So as you can see, there is no risk. There's no risk today. And here's my absolute promise to you, um, because I see what's going on out there in the coaching industry. I see what people are um, up to and, and what they're kind of putting out there. You will not just be another number or a notch on my belt. That is not what this course is about. That is not what I'm about. So I'm not doing this so that I can have a million dollar launch or a $500,000 launch. I'm doing this because I wanna support you. There will be a limited number of students that, I, that will be allowed to enroll in this session to ensure that you get all of me, not some other coach. I'm not gonna have you enroll and spend all this money on a course just to have someone else as your coach. I'm your coach. I'm your coach if you choose to enroll in Captivate. And also, as long as you show up and ask for support, I will be there to make sure all of your questions are answered. I give everything to my Captivate students and um, those of them that are on this live will attest to that. So as long as you show up and ask questions, I am pretty darn good, but I am not a mind reader. Um, so I need you to show up, I need you to ask for support. And as long as you do that, I will be there to make sure that you are clear, that you have all of your questions answered and that you're able to move forward in your business. So you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this next part and I'm going a little bit quickly only because Again, I am you know, very appreciative that you are here with me and that you are um, watching this right now. So, holy bonuses, okay? So here's the deal, guys. If you choose to move on from the mini course and continue into the Captivate experience, you can save $500, but only for the next 72 hours. So instead of $19.97, which is a normal price, you can, join for just $14.97 today. That is a killer price and a steal for the amount of support that you're getting. Other courses out there are you know, between $2,500 and $3,500 for less support than I'm giving you here. 
If you decide to pay in full, you also get three months access to my inner circle, which gives you access to every single course that I currently have and that I will create in 2017. Right now, it's up to $7,000 in value with those courses. Also, if you pay in full, you get a bonus one-on-one -on -one strategy call with me. Um, that's a $500 value. I don't even do really one-on-one -on -one business coaching anymore. So that is actually priceless. <laughs> so only for the next two, 72 hours, $500 you get to save. Um, if you need a payment, absolutely. I am offering a payment option. So you can take advantage of a simple three-part payment option until Monday. After Monday, it will be four payments of 500, but as of today, for today, tomorrow, and the next day, it is a three-part payment option. So I'm knocking off a payment for you because I want you in here and I want you to succeed. Holy, even more bonuses. Pay attention, guys. So the, for the first 20 people that say yes, you're going to get a done-for-you captivating social media and copy collective. And what that includes is Facebook posts, Facebook ad copy, a templated sales page, a unique Captivate sales page, a done for you messenger bot. You guys can see all this stuff right on the sales page, but this is not going to last. This is only for the first 20 people that take action right away. Um, and this is, if I were to charge someone to do this, I have $1,500 that's the value there. It's probably more like 2000. I would probably charge $2,000 to do all of that stuff for you. It also includes a um, email sequence that I will do for you. Um, all I need you to do is come to me with your clarity around what you do. And if you're one of the first 20 people, you get that done for you, social media and copy collected. Also, as an opening day bonus, this is only for people who buy today, which is Friday, September 22nd. Um, you will get a million dollar mindset mastermind with me. So this is going to be a small group only for the people that say yes today. Um, again, more details are on that sales page, but trust me, you don't want to miss this. Um, the value of this is possibly millions and I'm not kidding. Um, I'm going to be sharing with you my unique mindset, um, approach and strategies that have gotten me to where I am today. So even more, um, these are bonuses that will be available all the time, whether you buy now or whether you buy next Friday when the cart closes, you'll get a sales confidence masterclass. So learn how to get more clients and customers by cultivating sales copy, sales confidence. That is with my girl, Rachel Luna. Second bonus is with my go-to copywriter, Erica Strauss, and how to create captivating copy. Um, next is a million dollar naming process with Agnes Kowalski, another person that I've worked with. She named the Little Black Business Book. She named a bunch of other um, courses that I have. So that's a bonus that you'll get. Um, so if you struggle with naming your courses or naming your challenges or what to call a blog post, um, Agnes will teach you how to activate your creativity and manifest seven figure names effortlessly. And then finally, um, a bonus masterclass on publicity to of one of my uh, previous PR coaches, Esther Kiss. She's gonna show you how to generate the right kind of publicity and media attention that will give you credibility, leads, and sales. So this is all amazing, amazing stuff so far, but yes, I have even more. I have a disappearing bonus, um, which is a six-figure launch breakdown of my previous launch that I did in Captivate, or for Captivate in April, um, that generated over six figures. And this was with a small list. And this was an internal launch. Um, it was a very small list that I launched to. And I pretty much break down everything, everything that I did, all my Facebook ads, all my promotions, everything that I did in that thing, including my upsells, including my downsells. Um, and this bonus also includes a 50 page email and Facebook ad swipe file. So you can literally see the emails that I sent, the ads that were put out, what images I used for the ads. This is an amazing bonus in and of itself. I could totally, totally charge for this. This one expires on Thursday. Like I mentioned, the card is only open for seven days. I would suggest that you act now if this is on your radar, if you're feeling like I can help support you in getting where you wanna go, take action so that you can take advantage of these amazing bonuses. So I wanna just share with you a couple more of my students and what they were able to accomplish with Captivate and the strategies that I share in that program. So Kaylin was able to make over $9,000 with her first group program. Now mind you, these people only worked with me for a short amount of time. It was eight weeks. The course is eight weeks long. Um, Kaylin just um, wrote to me not too long ago and said I just hit six figures in my business. Amazing. 
Uh, Kate doubled, then tripled her income again in just eight weeks. In the first month, she doubled her income. In the second month that we worked together, she tripled her income and she is killing it now, all with the strategies that I share in Captivate. She says that she learned how to show up more as a leader and it was multiplied back to her over and over again. Sharice, who I mentioned earlier, is a stylist. So guys, does not have to be somebody that's doing business coaching or anything like that. Um, Sharice had her best month ever um, in the first two weeks of this program. She says I was the best, it was the best move I could have made for my business. It totally changed my business for the better. I learned strategies and tips that helped me reach my best month ever in just the first two weeks of the program. So guys, this is not, I mean, these are just stories over and over again. And you can see even more testimonials, more case studies, more um, of the results um, on that page, jenscalia.com forward slash Captivate Kim. Landed her first client and boosted her open rates by 24%. Amazing. She was able to leverage her strengths and get visible. So more success stories. Allie doubled her email list in two months. Jennifer G tripled her monthly income in eight weeks. Chandra got over 15 press and speaking opportunities, all using the strategies I teach in Captivate. So here's what I want you to do. If you are ready to Captivate, if you are ready to go, click on any one of those buttons there underneath the bonuses, the sign me up, the join me buttons, and you will go to a order form that allows you to take advantage of that $500 off, and that's just for this weekend. Um, you can either pay in full to get those amazing bonuses, or you can choose a payment option. And let's see, we start October 9th. Um, so we're starting in just a couple weeks. Um, once you sign up today, you'll get immediate access to a super supportive Facebook group and instructions on claiming your bonuses. Um, all right, so now um, back to what I talked about in the beginning, and I said if you stayed with me to the end, I would give you a free downloadable cheat sheet on the exact things I did to go from zero to 1.5 million in sales in three years. So if you want that, you can just go right to jenscalia.com forward slash million, and you can download that right away. Let me see if I can just pop it here in the comments for you, Jen Scalia dot com forward slash million all right so you can go there to get your free gift from me and as we wrap it up i want to know do you guys have questions who has questions for me i am here to answer any questions whether it be about the content that we talked about whether it be about any of the things that we did in the pro in the mini course over the week or any questions specifically about captivate the program Alrighty, let's see here. Let me go to my comments here and see what we have. Alrighty. Angela says, I stepped off for a few minutes to create my first live workout on my profile inspired by this webinar. Awesome, Angela. Angela was a rock star. Angela actually, Angela won a seat in Captivate um, last time. So she has definitely taken the information and ran with it. Uh, let's see. Angela says, Captivate will change your life. Never chase, always be the catch. Najeda says, I have more confidence, ease, clarity, and fun in my business since Captivate. Marlene says, this has been so helpful. Amazing. Do you guys have any other questions or comments or anything that you want to share? Um, Brandy says, awesome, Angela, way to take action. Yeah, Angela is definitely an action taker. Let's all congratulate her. Um, Kitty says, what social media platform have you gotten the most, most draw from? So um, like I mentioned earlier, Kitty, I will never tell someone this is the social media platform you need to use. You need to use the one that feels good for you, that supports who you are, that um, you know, plays to your strengths. When I first started, it was all Instagram. And um, I used Instagram for a couple years. Now I use Facebook, my Facebook group, and Facebook live streams. That might change again in a year or so. So typically I do whatever feels good and whatever platform I enjoy because I know if I choose a platform that I don't enjoy, I'm just going to not do it and I'm not going to actually post and I'm not going to feel inspired to share on that platform. So 
Um, choose the platform that feels really good for you. There's so many different ones out there. There's Pinterest, there's um, Instagram, there is LinkedIn, there's Facebook, there's Twitter, um, there's Snapchat. There's so many different platforms. You just got to find the one that feels good for you and that you're like, yes, I want to rock it out on this platform and rock it out on that platform. You know, I made the mistake of you know, trying to be everywhere. And I, I see a lot of people make the mistake of trying to just be on every single social media platform and it does not work. <laughs> you will get burnt out. Um, it doesn't feel good. You're going to be all over the place. So choose the one, possibly two that you really enjoy and that you can show up on and kill it. That is my, that is my advice. Lisa says, thank you so much. Brandy says, woohoo. Marielle says, yes, Jen is a real deal. Captivate is fun. Eva Lett says, I love this week. It was great to dig in and do the exercise. I really had to reflect. Yeah, that's the thing, Eva Lett. It's like we tend to, you know, we tend to overlook um, a lot of these foundational elements and then that, and we wonder like, why is it so hard? Um, and it's so hard because we skip over the things that we actually need to move us forward. So Marlena says, um, on Instagram, should I be posting content specific to my coaching or as I have been doing a lot of quotes specific to my coaching? I'd say a, com uh, a combination of both. Marlene, um, maybe some behind the scenes stuff, maybe some quotes, maybe some um, offers. I don't like to do a whole lot of offers or opt-ins on uh, Instagram, but you can do, um, you know, every now and then it is wise to be able to do that. All right, guys. So let me just see really quickly here. I'm going to pop back on so you guys can see my face as I answer these questions for you. Let's see, there I am, all right, cool. Um, all right, so Chidinma says, I stay in Nigeria, would the experience apply to my kind of environment? What do you do? Um, comment here, let me know what you do, and I can absolutely tell you if this will work for you. Um, Angela says, thank you. Um, Marlena says, I have several new followers this week due to Captivate, awesome. Do you offer, you do, you do offer on Facebook. Um, can you clarify that question, Marlena? What do you mean? Do I do I do offers on Facebook? Like, do I actually, um, you know, like make my offers as far as sales on Facebook? Is that what you're asking? If so, I do it. Yes, in my group, and I also do it on my page. Um, I don't typically do it on my personal profile. Um, I know some people that do it very well. I actually just posted something on my personal profile the other day as far as, um, you know, what. Um, if that was kosher or not, or if people should actually do that. Oh, okay, Marlena. Yes, no, I, you, do, you can do offers on Instagram. It's just a little bit different. So it's not going to be like every day. Um, you really just need to be selective with how you present your call to actions and what you're actually sharing with people. So yes, whatever social media platform you're using, you're going to want to find a way to incorporate your sales and your calls to action so that people buy, right? I mean, there's no point in having like a business profile if you're not going to use it for business. You're welcome, Marlene. All right. Who else has questions for me and who is going to take advantage of those early bird bonuses? Let's see. Chidinma says, I just started off as a public speaker and I host events for ladies where I get speakers and people to pay. Yes, absolutely. Chidinma. Absolutely. This is definitely the space. Speakers, coaches, anybody who's a service provider, authors, um, teachers, um, anybody in that space where they're where you're offering a service to somebody and you are getting your clients online, um, then this program will work for you. If you are, you know, mostly offline or you have a product based um, program, or sorry, if you have a product based business, um, it, it probably won't work as well. You may be able to get some stuff out of it, but ideally, um, you have a service based business, so you have something that people. Um, that is a service that you get your clients online. Sorry, I got a little tripped up there. Uh, all right, who else has questions? I see a few people left here on the line. Kitty says that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've tried to do LinkedIn and I just didn't like LinkedIn. 
So as much as I hear people talk about how amazing LinkedIn is and how they're able to get clients and they're able to get customers off of LinkedIn, it just doesn't float my boat. I don't like it. I never log in. I always forget I, when I log in, I have like 600 messages and a thousand friend requests and it's just not my gig. It's not my platform. So I choose to um, really dominate the platforms that feel good for me. Alrighty guys, who else has questions? Either about this week or about the program Captivate. Let's see. All right, cool. I am still on with you guys. I can see my face. I can see you guys here. I just want to make sure that you guys don't have any more questions before I hop off. I know it's actually, I feel like I made pretty good time. An hour and 20 minutes was pretty darn good. Um, Chidima, I just answered that question. What platforms are best to market services? It's whatever platform feels good for you. Whatever platform you like, whatever platform you desire to be on, um, choose one, possibly two, and really dominate that platform. There, there's so many different ways. And what I want you to think about is what are your strengths? You know, what feels good to you? What are your strengths? What platform supports that strength? And then you can go ahead and choose that one and dominate that one and forget about all the others. You don't really need to, you know, people ask me all the time about Snapchat. They're like, are you on Snapchat? Should I be on Snapchat? Guess what? Um, <laughs> if your clients aren't on Snapchat, then it's probably a waste of time for you to be on Snapchat. My clients are not on Snapchat, so I don't waste my time with that platform. So, you know, figure out what platform works for you, but also where are your ideal clients? Um, you are a welcome. Chidima says, thank you. You're really amazing. Claire says, yes, I'm back. Brandy says, so the challenge was fun and helpful. Thank you. You're welcome, Brandy. I can't wait to see what you do with all of that knowledge. <laughs> um, Kitty says, great presentation. Thank you. I'm going back to yesterday's homework now. <laughs> all right, Kitty, I will talk to you later. All right, guys. Well, we will go ahead and wrap up. It looks like there are no more questions. If you're watching the replay here and you have questions, post them in the group, post them right here on this thread so I can answer them. Um, I'd like to hear, you know, what you guys learned most from this challenge, what happened for you, what felt good, what didn't feel good, how much project progress you made. I want to hear your questions. I want to make sure that you guys are super, super clear on your business and everything you need moving forward. Eva Lett says, thank you so much for all your greatness. Continue to let your light shine. Angela says, the challenge was a great reboot for me. Yep, Memorla, thank you, that was very helpful. Claire says the challenge has been fabulous. Thanks, Jen. Amazing, and the challenge will be up. So if you didn't complete the challenge, um, I'm going to leave all of the challenges or all of the challenge days, including this wrap-up webinar, um, up until, probably up until Tuesday. So you'll have the weekend to kind of catch up if you need to catch up, if you didn't finish everything you can go ahead and do that. You're absolutely welcome. I am glad that you guys were able to learn so much and share that with you. All right, guys, thank you so much. I will see you in the group. I have um, some more amazing things for you next week, um, but enjoy your weekend. Thank you for spending your Friday with me, and I will talk to you soon. Ciao.